What's up everybody, it's Sifo101 here with episode 2 of A to Z Yu-Gi-Oh! The series where I'm going to play with a deck from every letter of the alphabet. Because it's episode 2, we've reached B, and I will be testing out Black Wings. This is a pretty big archetype, with 62 cards directly mentioning Blackwing in the card database. And it should be pretty competitive with all these cards. Actually, I, I take that back. Some of these are just anime cards that aren't going to do much for us. It's fine though, because there certainly are enough good cards. So, let's jump right into the list and see what Blackwings are all about. If you've ever heard the phrase, birds of feather flock together, well, that's what the Blackwings do. They're very good at getting themselves onto the board for free, and swarming to make synchro plays. With how flexible these birds are at hitting the board, the combos they can create are quite diverse, making each game really interesting. Now, time to show off the cards, the way that we can actually make these fun combos. Starting with our first three of, we have Blackwing Sudri. This card's really nice because when it's normal summoned, we can add a card that mentions Blackwing Dragon to our hand, and it has the effect that we contribute a monster on our field for a level 2 token that's a tuner, really helping us facilitate our synchro plays. Next up we've got Blackwing Samoon. This card's like our super starter, because if we control no other monsters, we can banish a Blackwing from our hand, and place one Black Whirlwind face up from our deck, which is really nice, and we can normal summon this level 6 monster without having to tribute. Free body, let's go! We've got three Blackwing Vada. If we control a Blackwing monster, we can special summon this card, and we can synchro summon from the deck using this card and monsters from the deck. To get into our Blackwing Dragon, which is really nice to not have to actually have the materials on the field, you know what I'm saying? We have three Blackwing Shamal, who although is not as important to being on the field as the other three as we have, is really important to help getting our Black Feather Whirlwind on the field, because we can send this card from our hand or the field to the grave and place that in our Spell and Trap Zone face up. And if we synchro summon while this card's in the grave into a Blackwing monster, but that's all we're synchroing into, we can banish it and target a Blackwing in our grave, adding it to our hand. And a lot of these Blackwing monsters special summon themselves when we have other Blackwings, letting us just go crazier and crazier. We have two Blackwing Chinooks. This card is a hand trap, basically, if we control a Dark Synchro monster, which ideally, if we go first, we do. And then it's a monster negate. Very nice! And then we've got a lot of one of birds, mostly because these cards special summon themselves if we have another Blackwing on the board, but can only do so once per turn, so drawing multiples of them does nothing for us. We've got our one Blackwing Chris, one Blackwing Boar the Spear, one Blackwing Heartman, one Blackwing Shingarna, one Blackwing Orochi, and one Blackwing Zephros, a little bit different than the other guys. He can return a face-up card on the field to the hand, and then we can special summon him from the grave. And we're also running 3 Ash Blossom and 3 Droll and Lockbirds as hand traps. Droll feels really good. Uh, Ash, you know, it is the fire format, you have to worry about Hita, but still think it's definitely worth playing. In terms of spells, we're running 3 Black Whirlwind. When a Black Wing is normal summoned, we can add another Black Wing with less attack than that, and with all these ones that special summon themselves, it's like a free body basically. And one Black Feather Whirlwind, this is the spell that we can set off Shamal. And when we Synchro Summon, we can target a Black Wind in our Grave and Special Summon. We're also running some generic, just good spells, such as two Triple Tactics Talents. I don't know why EDO Pro is calling it three Triple, three Tactical Talents in the top left. That ain't the real name. And we got two Lightning Storm, one Call by the Grave, and one Harpy Feather Duster. For Traps, we're running one Black Wing Trick. Twin Shadow. We can search this card and it's really good because it allows us to synchro summon during our opponent's turn using monsters that are banished or in the grave, so we don't really actually need the bodies on the field. And three infinite impermanence, just a really good hand trap. In the extra deck, we're running one red supernova dragon. Really hard to make, but is technically possible, so we're making room for it because it's sick if you can summon this. One hot red dragon archfiend abyss, a nice nine to have, and the rest are blackwing synchros. We've got one blackwing nothing the starlight. This is just another normal summon. We've got one assault blackwing Riker the rain shower. This is a tuner basically. We've got one blackwing armor master. This is just the baby armor master. He's cool. We've got one blackwing dragon. 
This is basically the baby Blackwing Dragon is what I call him. He's cool. We literally want to be tributing him for the level 2 tuner. Like, he's just here. We've got two Blackwing Boris on the Wicked Wing. This card, we can send a Blackwing from the deck to the grave. And this card's level becomes that monsters. And it's a tuner. Very good. Now to our Superman synchros. I don't know. Superman sounds cool. Blackwing Full Armor Master. Unaffected by other cards' effects. And when someone activates a effect, we can place a wage counter on that monster. And once per turn, we can target a monster our opponent controls with a wedge counter and take control of it. Then, during the end phase, we can destroy all monsters on the field that have a wedge counter. And my favorite card of the deck, Big Black Winged Assault Dragon, aka Tax Dragon. We can special summon this card by banishing a tuner and a black winged dragon from our field or grave, so we don't actually have to have the materials on field for this, which is really good. And every time our opponent activates a monster effect, we place a black feather counter on this card and inflict 700 damage to our opponent. So they have to pay 700 every time they want to activate a monster effect. And we can put two, maybe even three of these on the board if we're lucky. Then, when this card has four black feather counters on it, we can tribute it to destroy all cards on the field. But Blackwing Full Armor Master is unaffected by other cards' effect. So when these two are on the field at the same time, we can board wipe, but leave our Armor Masters. And you know, just some generic links. We've got dark, a lot of dark cards here. I think everything is a dark card except for the hand traps, actually. And SP Little Knight, just, she's just good. Uh, usually we're locked out of her, honestly, but if it's ever a bad turn, we can make her and hopefully it's good enough. And now let's see some gameplay. So here's game number one, and we are going to be going first against Synchro, Earthbound, something. But they got no hand traps, so we're good. We're going to start our turn off with normal summoning Sudri. Sudri effect, adding Shamal to the hand, and we're going to send Shamal to the grave to set our Black Feather Whirlwind. Activate Black Whirlwind, and Special Summon Vada. Vada effect, Synchro summoning into the Black Winged Dragon. Black Feather Whirlwind effect to add Shamal back to the field. And we're going to Zephyros, adding the Black Feather Whirlwind back to our hand. At this point, we're going to Sudri effect, bringing our token out. Then we're going to token into a Boris Storm. Black Feather Whirlwind, bringing back out the Sudri. And we're going to Synchro Summon into a Black... Whoa, whoa. Calm down in between terms. Pause. At the end there, we Synchro Summon into a Black Wing Full Armor Master and a Tax Dragon. So, let's see what we're cooking with before our opponent gets to go. We've got our Black Wing Full Armor Master unaffected by other cards effects and our tax dragon 700 every time our opponent wants to activate a monster effect plus we have our black wing twin shadow which is going to let us synchro summon into another black wing full armor master during our opponent's turn now let's see what our opponent can get up to here because i'm not really sure what he's trying to do we're going to start with our earthbound prisoner stone sweeper and at this point we synchro summon into our full armor master number two and tax dragon for 700 He's gonna one for one. We ash. It gets called back. That's fine. Let's see what he brings out with his one for one here. We're gonna go for our Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper. Groundkeeper effect. Special summoning the Stone Sweeper. And let's tax that 700. He's gonna synchro into Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin and Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlina. This he's gonna get some life points, but we will tax those. And at this point, we have four counters, so we can now tribute our tax dragon when needed. He's going to special summon his Earthbound Prisoner Linewalker, adding the Field Spell to the hand. And again, Tax, give me that. He's going to activate the Field Spell, targeting Tax Dragon. We're going to Tax Dragon effect, so when he specs Fusion Summons here, everything goes except for our Armor Masters. He's going to Synchro Summon into Geo Gremlin, targets the Armor Master, but realize he cannot do anything. At this point, he knows he probably doesn't have big enough monsters to get over the Armor Masters, and he cannot get out them. They're unaffected. So, he surrenders, GG's. Now you might be asking, can Black Wings play going second? And you betcha they can, because look at this hand. We've got a hand trap, and we're playing against U Bell. Let's see what we can do here. Our opponent's gonna start out with the Nightmare Pain. Nightmare Pain effect, discarding the spirit of U Bell. We're gonna draw a Lockbird after this, and then special summon out regular U Bell and some monster D Lotus. D Lotus bringing out Spirit of U Bell, Spirit of U Bell effect. Setting the Mature Chronicle, Mature Chronicle, and Infernal Grave Squirmer. Grave Squirmer sending Ubel, Ubel effect, getting out Ubel Terror Incarnate, linking away into Unchained Soul Yord of Llama. 
linking into SP Little Knight and special summoning another Yubel. Then they're going to fuse into Phantom of Yubel, and that's their turn. Unfortunately, we drew into Chinook. Not the best draw, but we've still got some gas here. So let's see what we can do. We'll start off with the Lightning Storm, forcing out the Little Knight, getting rid of Little Knight and Phantom of Yubel for the turn. But that makes our talents live. We can draw two and huge draws. We go for the normal Sudri. Sudri gets effect valid, but at least we drew into that Vada for some follow-up. So we can go Vada effect to bring out Blackwing Dragon. Blackwing Feather Whirlwind, bringing back out Vada. Going into Boros Storm. Boom. We can bring out Zephyros. Reactivate this. And because... Let's... Wait, hold up. Let's pause. Because that was something interesting. Because we had two or more Black Wings on the field, we can activate the Trap card from our hand, which allows us to Synchro Summon using monsters in our Grave or Banish Zone. And... That gave us enough for game when we brought out nothing to Starlight. So, we enter battle, boom, and he surrenders, but 24 plus 16 plus 24, that is more than 51. And we didn't need this stupid Chinook that we drew. So yeah, this deck can play going second. And there we have it. A wing going first, and a wing going second. Black Wings were quite a fun deck to play with, and the diversity of the combos, as seen in the difference in end boards between game one and game two, really made each game unique. We could play for a more consolidated board with powerful negates and tower-like effects, or just get as much damage on the field as possible. I hope you enjoyed, because that's it for me. Leave a comment if you have any future suggestions for letters, and other than that, have a great day everybody.